I'm David Willis in Washington. This is BBC World News America. After just 38 days in office, Britain's chief finance minister has been sacked. Kwasi Kwarteng becomes Britain's second shortest serving Chancellor of the Exchequer, his replacement the fourth to hold the office this year. The same day, the Prime Minister announced another major U-turn on her plans to cut taxes. We need to act now to reassure the markets of our fiscal discipline. Iran's supreme leader warns no one can overturn the Islamic Republic as protesters once again return to the streets. And flying for a century, the most famous steam engine of all time celebrates a hundred years on the tracks. Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. Britain's Prime Minister Liz Truss has sacked her chief finance minister or chancellor and abandoned another of her government's key tax cutting proposals. Kwasi Kwarteng was recalled from Washington to be replaced by the more centrist Jeremy Hunt, who becomes Britain's fourth chancellor within the space of just a year. The BBC's political editor Chris Mason has this report. Environmental protesters have thrown soup at one of the most famous paintings at the National Gallery in London, Vincent van Gogh's Sunflowers. The painting hasn't been damaged and in fact it's already back on display. Two women from a group called Just Stop Oil have been arrested. The United Nations says hunger in one of Haiti's biggest slums has reached catastrophic levels. The World Food Programme declared the highest level of food insecurity in the country for the first time. The organization says nearly 20,000 residents of Cite in the capital Port-au-Prince have, uh, uh, have dangerously little access to food and could face starvation. Flash floods have swamped hundreds of homes in southeastern Australia. Many people have been evacuated, while some have had to be saved by inflatable rescue boats. Officials say some areas have seen more than three times the average monthly rainfall in just 24 hours. Shaima Halil reports. And just before we go, we'd like to pay tribute to the life and work of the actor Robbie Coltrane, who has died at the age of 72. The Scottish actor was, of course, best known for playing Hagrid in the Harry Potter films. Bless him. I'm David Willis. Thank you for watching Wild News America. Hello there. Cool and unsettled weather will dominate across the southeastern parts of Europe.